and just instantly or like outside lights you know, motion sensor lights which mm-hmm. are good because you're like oh they're handy to have but then when they come on in the middle of the night you're like oh no yeah see ours our, well, we have those motion sensor lights at the front and every car that goes by sets them off oh really you know, that's handy you need to <laughs> you can dip the range and yeah I have tried that the sensor whatever very the sensitive is. sensors very sens- or cars going by very close to your house <laughs> they're close enough like you know they're not do you live a million miles, miles off in a road but uh, no we'll have to do that yeah but we just have an alarm that you, you just turn on Joe <laughs> no fashion no is you it just put in your little code and it goes beep yeah but that's what we do and you have well. 30 seconds yeah, to get out of your house before yeah, exactly. it gets on well it I don't know maybe there's some Ocean's Eleven style gang that is playing tricks on me and they're trying to bamboozle me into leaving the alarm off one day I mean and then they'll, they'll slip in unnoticed and steal all my your valuables fancy road my microphones microphone. and my screens yeah. and my jewellery <laughs> my diamonds my your el- bling yo my elaborate jewels I had um, I don't know why in that voice but but yeah what's yours so you don't have a fancy alarm is your alarm just a load of like tin cans on a string that rattles yeah. if someone walks by <laughs> clink, yeah. clink, clink, clink. oh pa there's someone in the perimeter someone's on the <laughs> there's too many dogs around our area to have anything like that dogs are good they just roam free around the place oh really oh yeah it's like wild there's animals there's dogs everywhere are they strays they're all just pets but okay. like they all just have the freedom to run around the place like you on know? the roads they oh, run yeah. over you know you just meet different dogs they all do be barking at you you just oh, meet different dogs they're just... so they're not even nice dogs no 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 a lot of them aren't are they friendly no do like... you bend down and hold your hand out for them to sniff it no I did that before and he barked at me yeah. <laughs> right in my face I was like how big you know, are these why dogs why are you all so angry why are these dogs all so they're angry? nervous I was watching a show about a dog whisperer kind of guy and he was saying they're stressed they're unsure of their position in the pack and they There's they they yeah they get aggro so many people they, they, all, they all have two dogs each on the, uh, around the area like I think it's that country thing though they, they get a dog they and they just of leave it outside yeah no one does not with it and they go he's grand <laughs> he loves it's, it out it's there. such a headache man. <laughs> yeah. there's so many times we had to jump in a car and go looking for my brother-in-law's dog oh really he's just like night's gone <laughs> it's gone again yeah. and they they call them night nice. so when you're like driving around you're with the shit. window down going night oh. <laughs> night all the neighbours are like good night get off will you is it at night time when you're doing it as well that a lot of the time yeah. Well, that, yeah if you're doing it because they the day. just go motoring down the canal like the, the dogs just disappear yeah. around there man there's just fields everywhere what do you expect you go you just leave a dog outside all day it's only just get, think it's yeah. wander off they it's, think a, it's especially when the other dogs are in heat they just, oh, like, see, they just go mental go out there looking for the the sniff the, latest. the sniff on the wind but that's the debate now about getting animals neutered or not so you feel bad doing it but it's probably for the best because yeah it stops all that stuff uh, the bitches in heat mm. scientifically you can say that <laughs> you can <laughs> you can it's and, true yeah the male dogs do it as well and you feel bad doing. we had cats and we got them neutered and you feel guilty though you feel like you're taking you're interfering with their life a little bit for your own convenience but mm. then again they are a pet that's what you're doing anyway yeah. <laughs> for them. but what else life would they have and there's enough cats and dogs it's not like we need any more or you need people to be having like wild puppies and stuff out in the streets but I did get a depressing thing when I collected the cat female cat from getting it done they're all knocked out and some of that so they're kind of telling you the vet what to do and keep them for the day and they're going to woozy and come around they have them in the little box but then they give me uh, you're paying and then they give me a little receipt <laughs> like one of those old shop receipts remember like the little yeah. like tin ones that like print the out blue. Has the list yeah the, the blue, blue ink <laughs> and it was like this like service whatever and, uh, what do you call it anesthetic and things but then it was listed it was like cat hysterectomy Eighty nine, ninety nine, or whatever it was, not even that expensive. And I was like, "Oh, it's a bit bleak." <laughs> but then my, I just bought a cat hysterectomy. <laughs> that uh, didn't feel great, but it was better for it. But they're happy now. Yeah. They're not driven wild by our lust. Would you like to be? Not actually like to be, but neutered. <laughs> <laughs>
That's good. That's probably a good...